you to the members of Black Tuxedo Pants for a wonderful performance this evening. At this time, please rise for the presentation of the colors by the late Brantley High School Air Force Junior ROTC Color Guard. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You can now be seated. Good evening, honor graduates, teachers, staff, parents, and friends to a wonderful night where we celebrate academic achievement and meaningful relationships. Tonight is a time to reminisce and recognize the people that have helped our honor graduates achieve academically. I especially enjoy hearing words of praise and impact. It is truly why we teach. The 2019 Lake Bradley High School Honor Graduate Ceremony honors those students who have achieved academic excellence. 151 students will be honored tonight in one of three categories. Those whose cumulative grade point average is between 3.8 and 3.999 graduate with distinction or cum laude. Students with a grade point average between 4.0 and 4.199 graduate with great distinction or magna cum laude. Students with a grade point average of 4.2 or greater graduate with highest distinction or summa cum laude. One of the wonderful aspects of this ceremony is that as we honor each graduate, each honor graduate in turn honors one individual for contributing to their education at Lake Brantley High School. This could be a teacher, counselor, custodian, administrator, coach, or secretary. It might be someone who has had a positive impact on their lives, someone who has influenced their future plans, or someone who didn't even realize they were making a difference and is often not thanked for their contributions. Each student was asked to select only one individual. Tonight, our Lake Brantley High School honor graduates and the staff members they selected will be recognized. Congratulations to our honor graduates and to our honored staff. Presenting our students and staff tonight will be Ms. Anna Reether and Ms. Amanda Go. Good evening. We will begin by honoring students who are graduating cum laude or with distinction this evening. Mrs. Debbie Brownrigg was honored by Italia Molina Alfonso. Dear Talia, thank you for your smile, your kindness, and the strong work and writing skills you brought to class every day. You always go the extra mile 
to ask important, insightful questions. You push yourself to do your very best in all that you undertake, and your effort shows in the successes you have earned both inside and outside of the classroom. Keep up your wonderful, positive approach, and thank you for sharing your gifts, your talents, and your kindness with, uh, with our classroom. Congratulations on all you have accomplished, and best wishes in your next adventure in learning. was honored by Jessica Dimitri. From day one, you were, you were quiet, but I always knew there was a lot of talent inside. You have shown that talent over the past two years, both in class and as a young woman. There were many challenging times, and in the end, you always persevered and came out on top. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your high school days. Keep reaching for the stars. Burgos was honored by Logan Keller. From day one, I always knew you were a special person on the baseball field, but more importantly as a person. I am honored to have watched you grow into a fine young man. It felt as if I had a son at school every day. I will cherish our moments and miss our talks in school, but I know they will continue even after you graduate. Thank you for taking Nick under your wing like a little brother. It truly means a lot to us. Keep working hard and it will pay off. In the end, roll tide. <laughs> Matthew Campbell was honored by Kate Cessary. Kate is the epitome of a leader. He has been such an amazing asset to the LBHS, the Cross family, since his, se his senior year. He leads by example and handles himself like a man. It is an absolute pleasure to work with him, and I cannot wait to see where he goes in life. I know it will be an amazing, it will be amazing things. Also, Matt Campbell was honored by Daniela Torres. Daniela is not only an amazing student, she's an amazing person. She always leads by example and is always ready to lend a helping hand. She has the qualities of a leader and the drive to obtain success Whatever she decides to do, I look forward to seeing her flourish in life. Mrs. Mindy Kraft was honored by Destiny Spencer. Destiny, your smile is contagious and your charm is effervescent. Your enthusiasm is a beautiful and priceless quality, one that makes you totally and entirely unique. I admire your ability and desire to confront challenges head on. Each experience makes you a stronger and more resilient woman. I will miss you tremendously and wish you every happiness as you embark on your next adventure. She was also honored by Juan Tapper. Juan, you are exceptionally creative and talented. I admire your enthusiasm and dedication when taking on new projects and challenges. Remember, life is a marathon, not a sprint. Take time to enjoy the sights and the people along your journey. I wish you smooth sailing for the remainder of your time at Lake Brantley and will miss seeing your smile and most of all, watching you accomplish your goals. <laughs> Ms. Melissa Dallenbach was honored by Riley Jacker. I have had the honor of coaching Riley for two years, and she is a stellar athlete, leader, and student. She claimed the honor of being captain of the varsity soccer team, plays club soccer year-round, is a part of National Honor Society and National English Honor Society, while consistently maintaining great grades in the classroom. Doing all of this, Riley shows her exceptional amount of determination and ambition, to which I am proud of. Dr. Trent Daniel was honored by Jet Boss. Like a Boss was originally written and produced by the real boss, Jet Boss, who does everything like a boss. <laughs> Jet Boss, number five on varsity football, is an amazing young man. Very rarely do I see a student able to have friendships with all types of people. Jet does this easily because he has great style and is extremely likable. Jet has never had a bad hair day or a day without a smile. <laughs> 
He's also a great student, but I'll miss him for being genuinely sincere and real. When you graduate, there will be a great loss for me not seeing you on campus. She was also honored by Shuji Lin. Shuji is a student that I admire. She transferred to LBHS as a sophomore, tested out of ESOL, and went on to achieve academically by taking several AP classes. She is a kind and caring person with a humble demeanor. She plans on attending UCF and will continue her road to success due to her dedication to her own excellence. Thank you for selecting me. It has been an honor for me to stand next to you and celebrate your academic achievements as a patriot. <laughs> Mr. Josh Halberg was honored by Paige Anderson. Congratulations on this great achievement. Sorry all the long nights of studying, hard work, and determination culminates with having to stand next to me on a stage. <laughs> Many times, great students such as yourself are the result of a great support system at home, and in your case, this is absolutely true. You have all the tools and support needed to achieve everything you hope to in the future. Best of luck, and don't stop playing golf. Wilson was honored by Genevieve Kapler. My Jenna, thank you for all your memories we have shared in class as a student assistant. I will always treasure all of the joy, laughter, and kindness you brought into my world. I hope that you will always keep your positive attitude and contagious laughter everywhere you go. You are a very talented young lady who deserves the very best life has to offer. Congratulations. Also, Ms. Wilson was honored by Peyton Moffat. Peyton, thank you for this great honor. You have impressed me with your dedication to excellence in all that you do. You have a very bright future ahead. Always retain your wonderful composure, kindness, and confidence. I am proud of all that you have accomplished this year. May you continue to strive and achieve all of your goals in college. I am proud to have shared you in this shared in your journey. Congratulations. Ivana Suarez. I had Ivana in class as a freshman student and she was amazing. She also became an athletic training trainer student that year. Over the last four years I have watched her go from a quiet confident student to our most respected and reliable athletic training student. She became a leader for other students to look up to and put a smile on her face of whichever athletic trainer was on duty the day she worked. I have no doubt that she will go on to be a success. <laughs> Master Sergeant Cardell Hopkins was honored by Travis Williamson. Travis is an outstanding young man. He is currently the Executive Officer of the Lake Brentley ROTC program. I have had the privilege of working with Travis on several, several high-profile events involving our ROTC program. Travis is the epitome of professionalism. Legacy is something that I routinely, routinely, routinely stress to our ROTC students. Travis has gone above and beyond to, to leave a <laughs> Travis has gone above and beyond to leave a positive legacy for the younger ROTC cadets. I am extremely proud of Travis, and I know that he will go on to achieve great things. Ms. Janice Hunt was honored by Anna Felice. Anna, I know this was not an easy journey, but the next professional future you will encounter, there is no limit to what you can do if you continue to believe in yourself. I petition you to continue to grow and watch the petals of life unfold before your eyes. Keep performing with those exceptional gifts that make you matchless. Whatever you do, never stop learning, exploring, growing, and challenging yourself to be the best I know you can be. Love you, Ms. Hunt. Ms. Catherine Jucker was honored by Anna Brunner. 
J.K. Rowling said, we do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. I feel very fortunate and honored to have had you in my ninth grade English and in AP Lit. You consistently shined in a high level English course. You are an intelligent, kind, and beautiful person. Keep shining because the world needs your beautiful light. I am proud of you. Congratulations on all your hard work. This future is yours. Believe in the beauty of your dreams. She was also honored by Emily Keeper. I am so lucky to have watched you grow from a zealous ninth grader to the confident and poised young woman you are today. I will miss your effervescence. It has been an honor and a delight to be your teacher. You have chased your dreams that have required diligent effort and passion. Your hard work will continue to pay off as you enter the new arenas of life. I have no doubt that you will meet all of life's challenges with persistence. Go share your sparkle. Congratulations on graduating cum laude and good luck at Florida Atlantic University. Mr. Kent Kirsten was honored by Akira Bostic. Akira, it was a pleasure being a part of the Saucy Boy Cactus experience of the 2017-2018 school year. I'll never forget your role as Myrtle for our great Gatsby party or how your team wore matching onesies for your TMP. I appreciate how you take life seriously, but also take things with a big dose of humor. Put your wit and joyful presence to work and I know you'll lead a fulfilling life. And the next time you feel you may simultaneously laugh and cry, envision your future self popping out from behind a cloud to say, it's okay. <laughs> Mr. Kirsten was also honored by Aaron McGuire. A.A. Ron, I'm honored that you chose me to be your honor grad teacher. It has been a pleasure getting to know you and to see such a bright example of kindness and humility. Whether you are offering to help with a classroom chore or showing up to Saturday morning community service events for Interact, you have proven to be a dependable, caring young man and a fine representation of your faith. I am certain that you, as you move on from high school, you will continue to find your calling, blossom where you are planted, and serve a bright light to the world around you. Please keep in touch, Mr. Kirsten. by Sean Marsh. It has been a pleasure watching Sean grow as a person these past four years. He is a dedicated student who is very loyal to his school, family, and his studies. I wish Sean nothing but the best and he will be missed. Mrs. Nancy King was honored by Logan Morris. It is my privilege to have taught Logan the last four years. He is very focused, talented, and always brings a winning smile with him wherever he goes. He is a true leader, drum major of the Patriot Marching Band, Eagle Scout, member of the National Honor Society, and has experience living in Germany, to name just a few of his accomplishments. Logan, continue to light up the world and remember, music is your own experience, your thoughts, your wisdom. If you don't live it, it won't come out of your horn. Charlie Parker. Also, Mrs. King was honored by Brittany O'Hanneson. It has been a joy to teach Brittany and watch her grow into a warm-hearted, intelligent, compassionate, and extraordinary woman. She is hardworking and fun-loving, sharing her courageous laughter to those around her. Brittany is a talented museum and, a, and the clarinet section leader. She is always certain to make a positive impact no matter how big or small, which a true stigma of a genuine individual she has become. Brittany, may you always sing melody in the symphony of your life. May you taste, smell, and touch your dreams of a beautiful tomorrow. May your sun always shine and your sky be blue forever. Ms. Vivian Lopez was honored by Keila Muller. 
Thank you, Kilo, for allowing me to get a glimpse into your future and to see how you, see you grow these last three years. I enjoyed having you as a student in my Spanish for Speakers, Speakers 2 class, my AP Spanish Literature class, and a member of the Spanish Honor Society. I will always remember you as a very compassionate human being with a very positive attitude. Keep sharing your smile with the rest of the world. <laughs> Ms. Tony Moore was honored by Jordan Stevens. Jordan Stevens is a great young lady that has worked hard and become the athlete that I knew she would. She is full of energy and she is a hard worker and a great student athlete that I have enjoyed coaching her in cross country and track for the last four years. Great things are ahead for her, and I know she will do great at the next level. Jordan, I wish you the best and good luck. But always remember, Coach Tony loves you. And quote, forget failure, forget mistakes, forget everything except what you're going to do now, Coach Tony Moore. Miss Dynamo was honored by Megan Becker. Megan Becker represents all the best qualities of a Lake Brantley Patriot. She is extremely responsible and takes charge of situations. Megan is helpful to those around her when they need help or don't understand directions, and she works well both independently and in a group. Megan is thorough and thoughtful in completing assignments. Going over her work is so refreshing as she exceeds expectations. Also, Ms. Moe was honored by Ava Brandenburg. Ava is a very responsible, motivated, and passionate student. She comes to school every day with a smile, an excitement for learning, and a dedication for going above and beyond. Ava pays close attention to details and makes sure that, every, that her daily work is accurate and of the utmost quality. Ava is a model student who sets a positive example for her peers. She works hard not only for herself, but to help her peers as well. She is dedicated to helping her classmates succeed and grow into every way and grow in every way she can. Ava is a wonderful young lady who, who will continue to excel academically and socially. Mrs. Diana Pagan Rivera was honored by Leyland Roca Farina. Dear Leyland. I want to extend my congratulations to you on making the honor graduate. This is an honor and a personal accomplishment. All of your hard work has paid off. It takes a great deal of talent, effort, and determination to achieve such a challenging goal, and it is very inspiring to me to see you realize it. Your commitment to excellence is evident in earning this academic honor. The diligence and effort you have given to your academic performance here at Lake Brantley serves as an example and inspiration to so many. And if it is any indication of the effort you will put into life, you will be successful in all you do. You should indeed be proud of your work. Mr. Peter Parker was honored by Ian Cameron. Ian Cameron is a self-motivated and excellent student in my drafting one, two, and three classes. It has been a pleasure to watch his transformation from shy ninth grade freshman to the impressive senior young man. Ian's determination and drive will place him head and shoulders above the rest. Go Knights! <laughs> Mr. Rob Payne was honored by Katherine Crone. Quiet and reserved. Such are the qualities of first impression that come to you when you meet Kate. But as you come to know her, she soon reveals her intelligence, dedication, and enthusiasm for learning. More than anything, Kate combines a drive for academic success with a kind and sincere demeanor. She's a great student and a great person. <laughs> Mr. William Perhash was honored by Samir Salama. It was a pleasure to have Samir in my geometry class. Samir always arrived early to class, so we had a chance to talk before the other students arrived. I enjoyed his approach to life, and I know that he will be successful in whatever, whatever path he chooses. I look forward to seeing him grow academically, professionally, and personally, but most of all, to see the change after his once a year haircut. <laughs> Mornings are nice but the math or noon is the best. <laughs> Mrs. Jan 
Dan Petrino was honored by Dina Beauvoir. I have had the pleasure of having Dina in my French class the last three years. She's a fine young woman. She is quiet and reserved, while at the same time exuding confidence and class. She has a great work ethic. Her assignments are never done just for completion, but for mastery. She's a perfectionist who always seeks to do her best in every situation. I wish her much, much success as she moves on to college. <laughs> Mr. Nick Powers was honored by Michael Wen. Michael Wen served as one of the head leadership students in the chorus department this year. He has proven to be one of the most dedicated students I have ever taught. I will never forget the countless time and energy he put into our department. Michael brings such a joy to the classroom with his positive energy and truly infectious enthusiasm. His talent and hard work earned him a spot in the Florida State Chorus in January. Thank you for everything, Michael, and keep bringing joy to everyone you know in the future. Also, Mr. Powers is honored by Marissa Baum. Marissa is an incredible student and person. She has incredible vocal talent, but continues to work hard to learn and grow every day. I've gotten to know Marissa through her numerous hours of volunteer work in the chorus department as one of our core choir officers. She is also incredibly helpful, funny, and engaged. I'm disappointed to only have taught her for one year. I wish you the best in the future. Shauna Resnick was honored by Katie Hines. Katie is such a sweet and fun young lady. I remember I had only I only had her for one for a short time and she brought me coffee on my birthday, which made the day so special. Class with Katie was always fun. She had a mischievous sense of humor, which goes along well along well with mine. Katie is bright and talented, and I always enjoyed the atmosphere she brought into our classroom. And of course, Katie will forever be my favorite fellow go herder. Mrs. Meaton Stamps was honored by several students. First, by Maria Franceschi. Maria is a strong, independent young lady who has been a pleasure to have in peer counseling for two years. She is a strong listener who has the ability to ask more questions and show support concern for her peers. She has a quiet demeanor, yet at times I have loved seeing her funny personality become contagious with her classmates. She was also honored by Gianna Panek. I love Gianna's high energy she brings into peer counseling every day. I admire her commitment to excellence with her busy schedule as a student, athlete, and maintaining a job. It has been my privilege to be a part of her growth in peer counseling for two years. I know with her passion for success and urgent desire, she will overcome any obstacle that stands in her way. <laughs> Finally, she was honored by Molly Katamabong. Molly has been an astounding peer counselor for two years. Her willingness to listen to others and genuine pleasant personality has been an asset to the program. I really enjoyed watching her step out of her comfort zone and become more involved her junior year. I admire her strength and positive attitude in life. Ms. Vita Simmons was honored by Sebastian Anche. Whether it was designing a quiz show cutout or bringing in a skull to underscore Mexico's cultural celebrations in connection to political traditions, you always displayed a quiet yet nuanced creative interpretation of class content. Sebastian, you are unique in that you give everyone your ear and when you use your insightful voice, it's a product of intent listening and tacit reflection. Your words land loud because they are steeped in silent study. I am loud, and I will loudly say, I am so proud of the person you are and will become. <laughs> Mr. Christopher Stanley was honored by Quinlan Kildare. Quinlan is a pleasure to have in fourth period AP statistics this year. 
He is a natural at the subject and is always the student that is answering all of the questions in class. His love for learning is infectious and I know he'll utilize those habits at the next level and do something great. Mrs. Christine Visivichaipan was honored by Bryant Lee. Bryant, I am so glad you were in my calculus class last year. My favorite thing about you is you nev you're never ending positivity. There would be times when you could be lost on a concept, but I would look at you and you'd be nodding and smiling like you were with me. <laughs> I'm so proud that you never gave up on yourself. Even though parts of the class might have been tough, I hope making it through successfully helped you to see how smart, capable, and resilient you are. Best of luck on the journey ahead. Ms. Danette Young was honored by Nicole Lopera. Nicole is one of the most inspirational students I have met in my entire career. Not only does she possess the innate desire to perform well in school, she balances personal responsibilities with a grace that most adults can learn from. Nicole is a match that has ignited a spark in me to listen patiently and work with all students on a more distinctive level. She challenges herself and strives for her best. Nicole will continue to accomplish amazing feats, and I look forward to her becoming my exclusive CPA as she continues her life journey with a fierce determination for excellence. Ms. Young was honored by Emily Ann Russell. Emily Ann is amazing with a dynamic personality. After being homeschooled, she came to Lake Brantley with a dynam dynamic force. In one year, Emily Ann moved from being a first year cadet in ROTC to becoming a special projects commander, one of the highest ranking in the unit. Emily Ann plans on over and oversees numerous school events with maturity and commanding skills like no one else can. Additionally, she is a wonderful student assistant in the guidance office. This independent, passionate, intelligent beauty is the gold standard for ROTC. Emily Ann will no doubt become a leading military officer, keeping us safe as she serves our country.